It is the 22nd of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start on SOT.net. California road slides into the sea after heavy rains. A large chunk of a Los Angeles coastal road slips into the Pacific Ocean following a mudslide caused by heavy storms. And they go on to say that this road's been closed since spring and uh, was, they were expecting it to go pretty much any time. Mexico to coal, 50,000 wild boars invading from the U.S. border. Mexican officials unveiled plans to slaughter some 50,000 wild boars that have crossed the border from the United States and now threaten agriculture in Mexico. Uh, so apparently they're saying they're sleeping on the states and they're sneaking down there and eating their food, so they're going to line up and uh, have quite the little hog roast here shortly. Kenneth becomes the late season hurricane in the Pacific. Forecasters say Kenneth has strengthened into a rare late season hurricane in the eastern Pacific, although there is no current threat to land. And I say the uh, sustained winds are up to 80 miles an hour right now, but as it moves off to sea, it should uh, break down a little bit. Um, here's a volcano near Mexico City spews ash and smoke. Me Mexico's largest active volcano has spewed ash and smoke into the air on Sunday. And local civil protection authorities warn people not to clo not to go close as burning ash could fall for hours, reported China's uh, news agency. And I reported on that one not too long ago. That's one I couldn't pronounce. Uh, the death toll in Thailand floods tops 600. I believe the official number is like 603, according to the uh, RSOE. And uh, they were also saying that uh, the water's starting to recede from downtown. They had a big cleanup day. Uh, they don't expect the flooding to recede for another two weeks yet. And that's if they don't get any more heavy rain. Uh, United Kingdom. Scores of flights canceled as fog shrouds the country. And we've got gales, even snow, on the way. Uh, dozens of flights were canceled in central England today after a thick fog, fog descended on much of the country. Uh, the Met Office issued a severe weather warning this morning for regions including London and Southeast and East and West Midlands, Yorkshire and Humber and the East of England. And uh, yeah, big foggy day today and you got some snow and wind coming. Uh, earthquake rocks Assam, Manipur and Nagaland. An earthquake measuring 5.9 on the Richter scale rocked India's northeast, Miramar, and Bangladesh on Monday, triggering panic among the people. And uh, there's definitely some damage with that one. Buildings collapsed and whatnot. Over to the Watchers. Um, the only story they really have today uh, worth covering is Texas drought causes water shortages. Latest projections indicates the state's population will double to 46 million over the, next, uh, over the next half century. It means that the days of cheap and abundant water are coming to an end, and where the additional supply will come from is not clear. Well, I've got another story uh, out of the Gulf of Mexico, 9,627 feet, Gulf whale, Gulf deep oil drilling well sets deep water record. A well in the Gulf of Mexico has set a global record for oil production in deep water. Shell Oil Company said on Thursday. Shell says it's producing oil well from a 9,627 feet below the surface of the Gulf, a depth more than six times greater than the Empire State Building's height. It exceeds by 271 feet the depth of the previous held record, also a Shell product in the Gulf. They're doing these deep sill drilling, and uh, if we didn't learn anything, anything, <sighs> oh my god. So uh, here we go, setting up for another BP-style disaster because they keep digging them deeper and deeper and under higher and higher pressure. Over to the RSOE today. Um, of course, they have the, the spill in the Atlantic off the coast of Brazil, another Chevron uh, gift to us. Uh, El Hero, the underwater volcano, still going on. Um, the flooding in Thailand, of course. I've uh, got a snowstorm in the Metro Vancouver area. And a uh, nuclear event out of the state of Minnesota. 
Moncello nuclear generating plant. Uh, apparently their turbines um, showed low, pressure, low oil pressure uh, gauge and they shut the plant down and they're looking into it. But they said there's no threat to the population. Uh, no nuclear release whatsoever. And over on uh, Daily News Fukushima, I got one story I want to I want to share with you. Seasonal cycle of plants is broken. Around Tokyo, we observe plants are blooming out of their seasonal cycle. Morning glories is blooming. It blooms in July to August annually. Four o'clock is blooming. It blooms from June to September annually. Sunflowers are blooming too. It blooms August annually. And it's not just one on the other hand. Evergreen is withering. The trees are dying. And I will attach a link to this story because there's a lot of pictures. Um, Seeing's believing. And finally on ENE News tonight, I'm just going to run down the headlines real quick. A strontium detected at several locations in central Tokyo. Highest radiation of survey found outside government building. Karma. Reporters gawk as decimeter detects over 70 microsieverts per hour. Um, from WAPO, many spots 15 kilometers out have higher radiation than Fukushima's front gate. Risk is minimal, day and no-go zone like 12-hour plane ride. Uh, you're right. Uh, watch uh, suspected damage to fuel assembly racks and spent fuel pool number four. And they have a video and they ask, see anything missing? And this is the one where they've got the big concrete truck. Uh, pouring water down the top because uh, the the nuclear waste pool, uh, the, the storage pool, is open. Uh, huge steam explosions. If nuclear fuel hits water, just a matter of time before uh, corium melts through Fukushima Station. Former Secretary of United Kingdom's Government Committee. And there's a video on that. And, uh, of course, they're just gearing us up and letting us know. And we've all known this is going to happen for a while. Um, so kick back. Buckle your seatbelts. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks for all your support.